Welcome to part four in this series of securing fields in ServiceNow. In this video, we are going to take a look at view rules. View rules are a very easy way to restrict or determine which views, list views and form views, are displayed to the user when they look at a list or look at a form. So let's take a look at some examples. So let's come back to our example here of a car's record where we wanted to only display the pin field for car admin users and not for regular users. Okay, so at the moment I've got a default view set up that is displaying it and I've actually gone ahead in advance and configured a separate users view here. So if I switch to that same record, but the pin field is hidden there. Okay, so let me switch back to the default view here for the admin. We go back to our regular user here. Uh, it's the same record. They can see the pin field because they're looking at the default view. And at the moment, uh, they don't have the ability to change views. For that, you need the view changer role. And at the moment, this user does not have that role. So the, user, the, the view that, that we show them or configure by default, that's the one that they're stuck with. Okay. So for this user, we actually want to hide the, the pin field here. Okay. So how do we do that? Well, as I said, I've already gone ahead and configured two or one view for the uh, form and one for the list. And the difference for both of them is that the pin field is not displayed. So you can see here the pin field is not there in the list and also in the form as we just saw before. Okay. So once you've got that set up, you can come now to create a new view rule. Um, and script a condition here to evaluate whatever role that should be uh, that the user should have or shouldn't have. And in this case, we've got a condition here to say if they do not have the cars admin role, we are going to display the user's view by default. As you can see here, the device type is set to browser, so we're only looking at the classic or the platform user interface. There is separate configuration depending on if you're configuring a workspace or a service portal page or a mobile application. We're only interested in the platform user interface here. Okay, so once we do that, we can activate this and save it. And we shall look at the result. For the admin, again, nothing will change because uh, we're all only interested in evaluating if the user didn't have the car's admin role. So if I come back to my form here and just refresh for the default view nothing has changed and I still have the ability here to select the users view where the pin is not displayed okay that's working just fine so if we go back to our cars user okay and let me just refresh the page here okay we can see now we're looking at the users view the pin is not there and because I don't have the view changer role, I do not have the ability to change the view here. I'm stuck with what the admin has configured. If I did have the view changer role, I would be able to change or would be able to see different views, but not necessarily be able to change to that view. <laughs> All right. So that is working uh, just fine. If I come to the list uh, as well, we'll also see the, the user's uh, list or the user's view list here, the pin is not there, it's not present. Wrap up the record again. In our previous two videos for client scripts and UI policies, we saw that despite the fields not being displayed on the form, they were still loaded, uh, they were still queried in the database, and they were actually still present in the HTML code for the page. So it means that we could still look at the source code for the page and view and even change the value of that field. Uh, this here is not the case. If you look at the source code for this page, we won't find any hidden pin field here. So if we go to the next uh, uh, import control here, uh, yeah, that's actually, this is still the security code uh, field there. And after that, there is nothing else. Okay. So in other words, we have determined using a view rule what fields are retrieved from the database. So that is a little bit more secure than a client script and a UI policy. However, 
if I had the ability to change the layout of the form at the moment I don't, I could actually still display the pin field. If I come to my list, we're looking at the user's view here and the pin field is not there. However, by default, in the ServiceNow platform, all users have the ability to personalize lists. Okay, now you can change this if you want to, but that's the default behavior. Okay, that means I have the ability here as a regular user to personalize this list. And now, look at that. I can see the pin field. And not only that, I can put it in my own personalized list, which means I can now see the value of that field. So view rules are a little bit more secure, perhaps, as client scripts and UI policies, uh, especially on the form where you can really restrict uh, what fields are queried from the database. But again, users still have the ability to, to display uh, any hidden fields in a list if they have that personalized list uh, option available. And that by default is granted to all users in the platform. Okay, so thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for the next video in this series where we really get to data security in the ServiceNow platform, and that is using access control rules. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching again. See you next time.